So today we're going to be looking at solving equations of the form a to the power of x add b x add c equals zero with our friend the Lambert w function. Okay, so let's get stuck straight in. Now a to the power of x we can write as e to the power of x log a. So therefore we can rewrite this as e to the x log a equals minus, just taking the others over the other side, b x plus c, and then dividing by e to the x log a, we get 1 equals minus bx plus c e to the minus x log a. Now, just stopping here for a second, as this bit here and this bit here are both linear in x, we know that we can get it into the Lambert w form z e to the z equals c for some constant c. So we can solve this using the Lambert w function. Uh, and for a very similar uh, equation, which we can't solve, uh, look towards the end of this video. OK, so uh, what we have, we have... Um, um, here we have our equation here. Sorry, I've made it a little bit messy. OK, so we need to get in the e to the mi a minus x log a. So let's uh, multiply everything by log a equals minus b log a times x add c log a e to the minus x log a. So we're getting towards putting these two in the same um, in the same. Uh, position here. So now divide by b, we get log a over b equals minus x log a add c over b log a e to the minus x log a. We're almost there. All we need to do is sort this plus c over b log a out now. And so what we need to do to get that in this bit here is we need to multiply both sides by e to the minus c over b log a. So we've got log a over b, e to the minus c over b log a, and that equals minus x log a add c over b log a e to the minus, and as we are multiplying by e to the minus c over b log a, it's minus x log a add c over b log a. And now we have this and this exactly the same and so we can simply read off our answer um because we've got it in the form z e to the z equals c and therefore our answer is that minus brackets x log a add c over b log a equals w of this bit here which is w of log a over b e to the minus c over b log a. I mean, it's all looking a little bit uh, ugly, but anyway, so let's uh, keep going uh, here. So we now have, uh, getting rid of the minus sign, we have x log a equals minus w log a e to the minus c log a over b over b minus c log a over b, just taking that over to the other side, and all we need to do now is simply divide by log a, and that gives us our answer, so we have the x, the answer, minus w, log a, e to the minus c, log a over b, over b, over log a, equals, uh, sorry, minus c over b, because the log a cancels, and that is the answer, the general answer to an equation of the form a to the x add bx add c equals zero. Now, in a previous video, we can just check this is right. In a previous video, uh, the uh, link to which is in the description to this um, to this video, we actually looked at three to the x equals two x plus two, and we explained how to solve that, and we got the answer x equals minus one over log three w minus log three over six minus one. So let's just see uh, if we actually get that answer. Well, we must do, obviously. So we got three to the x minus two x minus two equals zero. Therefore, we've got a equals three, b equals minus two, and c equals minus two. We can just stick those uh, in, sorry, and stick those into the general form here. We get that x equals minus one over and the log a. Well, a is three. One over log three. Uh, where are we? Uh, w. Uh, my apologies, sorry. So we get x equals minus, let's put it in properly. So w 
bracket, log 3, so that's here, log of a, 3, and we've just got to be careful with this bit here, e to the minus c log a over b, that is, well, c uh, and is c is minus 2 and b is minus 2, so c over b is 1, so that gives us e to the minus log 3 over b, which is minus 2, over log 3 minus c over b, well, c over b is one. Okay, now we just have to be a little bit careful here. E to the minus log three. Well, e to the minus log three is equal to e to the log of three to the minus one, which equals a third. And so therefore we have our answer e x equals minus w log where are we? Minus, uh, sorry, minus, uh, start again, minus 1 over log 3. Sorry about this, it's all these logs. So E equals minus 1 over log 3, W of log 3 over minus 6, because minus 2 at times uh, a third is minus 6, minus 1, which is the same answer that we got in the other video. Okay, so it does, it does show that this is the right general formula for the answer here. Now, just some out of interest, um, some people have asked me, um, so let's just go on to the next page here, because this is quite important, this is. So some people have said, um, how do we know what we can and what we can't do with the uh, with the Lambert W function? So we've just looked at a to the x add bx add c equals zero. Now that can be solved by the Lambert W function because part of the uh, answer that we did above, we got to minus bx add c e to the minus x log a equals 1. We got that up here somewhere. Where was it? There. Okay, so we got at that point there. And once we got to that point, we know that we can solve this with the Lambert W function because this here is linear and this here is linear in x. So this can be solved. Now let's have a look at a slightly different equation here x to the a add bx add c equals zero. This cannot be solved with the Lambert W function because we get minus bx add c e to the minus a log x equals one. And even though this is linear, this is not a polynomial at all. And so therefore it can't be solved. And if we look at the final one, x to the x add bx add c equals zero, we would get minus bx add c e to the minus x log x equals one. And that cannot be solved either for exactly the same reason in that this here is not polynomial, even though this is. So basically there's those three and you just have to remember of those three, the only one that can be solved by Lambert is this one because this and this are both polynomials. Okay, well, I hope you found that useful. If you did, uh, please like this video and subscribe to the Crestia Academy YouTube channel. Thank you.